dear students generally uh, in calculus we do a study about expansion of functions and in expansion of functions there is there are two theorems generally that, that are used one is uh, taylor's expansion and another is uh, it is derived from the maclaurin's uh, series only the taylor expansion is derived so many of the students exactly don't know that how it is uh, coming the maclaurin's theorem uh, or the taylor's expansion so let me first of all uh, in, uh, in an uh, um, uh, effort to clarify that doubt let me start with maclaurin's theorem and i will be discussing here today that how maclaurin's theorem that is derived how we do generally derive that expression so basically we start with actually you might be knowing i think that in maclaurin's theorem what we do is we write f of x any function as f of 0 plus x times of f dash of 0 f dash means first differentiation of the function f of x obviously with respect to x and x square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 that means second differentiation second differentiation and like this the last differentiation is going to be the nth differentiation so here it will be n factorial and f of n is equal so basically this is <coughs> sorry basically this is what we do in uh, maclaurin's theorem okay so now uh, uh, how we are going to derive it is uh, not very difficult actually uh, let let us say that the function f of x f of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2 x square plus a3 x cube and like this up to a n x n x to the power n right i am assuming that f x has uh, x raised to the power n that means it is a uh, of degree n so if i differentiate it first time okay or better to say that if i want to find f dash x then it will be a0 will be 0 because it is a constant and then what will be left will be a1 plus twice of a2x plus twice of a3x square plus dot dot n into n x n minus okay now similarly if i want to find the double differentiation f double dash x then this term will get uh, this term will be 0 and then i will be getting 2 into 1 times of a2 why i am writing into 1 because actually i want to observe a pattern here i will be writing 3 into 2 a3 x and the next term will be 4 into 3 a4 x what will be a4 because here it is a uh, square and obviously in the fourth term it will be fourth term it will be x cube so here i will be getting x square right like this and so we can write the nth term as n into n minus 1 a n and x n minus 2 now if likewise i write f triple that means uh, differentiating it three times then what i will be getting is 3 into 2 into 1 a 3 Okay, 
because this term will get abolished and the next term will be 4 into 3 into 2 and again a4 x and like this so what will be the fn fn term okay i am interested more in finding the fn term so i can write fn as that means differentiating it n times i can write it as what we will be left with the last term here what will be the last term n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and a n x n minus 3 so here all the term will get vanished except the last one and the last one will be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and like likewise 2 into 1 a n <coughs> okay 2 into 1 a n and after that uh, what will uh, we'll be left with okay so this is going to be my last term now what if i put x is equal to 0 what if i put x is equal to 0 in each of the terms here that means if i put x is equal to 0 in each term put x is equal to 0 in each term so basically here if I put 0 then it will be only a naught will be left here if I put 0 then only a1 will be left here if I put 0 then only 2 into 1 into a2 will be left like this so so basically if I put f0 then I will be left with a naught if I put f dash 0 then I will be left with a1. Similarly, if I put f double dash as 0, then I will be left with a into 2 into 1 a3. Likewise, likewise, if I put if I put f n times its differentiation, then I will be left with n factorial into a n. <coughs> okay. So, likewise, if uh, now I again put my, the values of a0, a1, a2, etc. in the uh, differentiation in the original function, uh, one thing I have made mistake is I wrote here this should be for f triple dash. Okay? This will be for f triple dash because in f triple dash actually we get 3 into 2 into 1. In f double dash, if I write here, if I write here f double dash 0, then it will give me as 2 factorial. I actually missed it. So now, if I put the values of, if I put the values of f of x is equal to what it was, first of all the term was f0. Okay. First of all, the term was a0. So, in place of a0, I can write f0. The second term was a1x. Okay. So, what is a1? a1 is nothing but f dash 0. So, f dash 0 into x. Okay. Because it was a1x. Now, the third term. What was the third term? Third term was a2x cube. So, a2x cube. So, what is the value of a2? See here. It is f dash f double dash 0 upon 2 factorial okay so i can write from here x square into f double dash 0 upon 2 factorial okay. this is a now if i want to know the fourth term so the fourth term was what a3 x cube a3 x cube and what i can write a3 a3 can be written as a triple utilization uh, of 0 divided by 3 factorial. Okay? So from here I can write x cube by 
3 factorial into f 3 times differentiation. Likewise, the last term will be x raised to the power n by n factorial into nth differentiation of f and 0. So, you might be seeing that this is this is a this thing what you saw is nothing but this is known as Maclaurin's theorem. Theorem is known as Maclaurin's theorem, right? Okay. So I hope that uh, you would have understood what I was trying to derive. Here. Now, how we prove, how we started everything? First of all, what we did this we set out to prove theorem. Okay. हमने ये प्रूव करने का स्टार्ट किया था मैक्लोरेंस थ्योरम में एक्चुअली हम करते क्या है कि किसी भी फंक्शन को उसके डिफरेंशिएशंस के टर्म्स में लिखने की कोशिश करते हैं ठीक है ये बात समझिए किसी फंक्शन एफ एक्स को एफ जीरो लिखा फिर फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव उस फंक्शन का उसके वो लिखा फिर सेकेंड डेरीवेटिव लिखा फिर एन एस डेरीवेटिव तो बेसिकली हम कर क्या कर रहे हैं इसी फंक्शन उसके डेरीवेटिव के टर्म्स में लिख रहे हैं और वो कॉफिशेंस फाइंड आउट कर रहे हैं कि आगे क्या है तो हम स्टार्ट कैसे किए हमने स्टार्ट ऐसे किया इस चीज़ को कि उस फंक्शन को हमने कुछ मान लिया ठीक है हमने इस फंक्शन को कुछ मान लिया क्या मान लिया देखिए एफ एक्स इजिकल टू ए जीरो प्लस ए वन एक्स ए टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ऐसा करके ए एन था मतलब हमने माना कि ये एन एन डिग्री का कोई पॉलिनॉम है मेटर से तो इसका फर्स्ट डिफ्रेंशिएशन करते हैं तो ये रिजल्ट आया अगर हम इसका सेकेंड डिफ्रेंशिएशन करते हैं तो ये रिजल्ट आया अगर मैं इसका थर्ड डिफ्रेंशिएशन करता हूँ तो ये रिजल्ट आया ऐसे करके अगर मैं इसका इनथ डिफ्रेंशिएशन करता हूँ तो ये रिजल्ट आया अब आप देखेंगे कि अगर मैं यहाँ पे एक्स की जगह जीरो पुट कर देता हूँ तो ये सारे टर्म वैनिश हो जाएंगे जो बचेगा वो सिर्फ ए जीरो तो यहाँ क्या हुआ हमारे पास ए जीरो का वैल्यू हमने निकाल लिया एफ ऑफ एक्स के टर्म्स में सिमिलर अगर मैं यहाँ पर एक्स की जगह जीरो पुट कर देता हूँ तो हमारे पास सिर्फ एक टर्म बचेगा ए हमने क्या किया ए वन का वैल्यू निकाल लिया एफ टैस के टर्म्स में ठीक है इसी ढंग से हम सारा कॉफिशियंस निकाल लेंगे फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स के टर्म्स में और उसके बाद कुछ नहीं करना है हम स्पुट कर देना वापस आई होप आपको मैक्लोरेंस थोड़ा समझ में आ गया अब चलते हैं आगे 